In this video, we are going to discuss one more gate problem related to root locus. So, here this problem is related to centroid of the root locus. So, you can observe the problem here. This is given in 2004 for 1 mark, given g of s into h of s, nothing but open loop transfer function. So, is equal into k by s into s plus 1 into s plus 3. The point of intersection of the asymptotes of the root loci with the real axis is, if you do not know this point, that means the centroid is nothing but intersection point of asymptotes on real axis, you cannot solve this problem. The only key point for this problem is you need to know about centroid. Centroid is nothing but the inter intersection point of asymptotes on real axis. And we are having one more point like this. The intersection of asymptotes on imaginary axis is nothing but intersection point. So, intersection point is different from centroid. So, the intersection point can be found by using Routh array. We, we already had video related to that. So, here we are going to find out the centroid of the root locus. That means, intersection point of the asymptotes on the real axis. So, we are having formula to calculate centroid. So, here the centroid centroid is equal into sum of real parts of poles minus sum of that is why I am uh, considering summation sum of real parts of zeros sum of real parts of poles minus sum of real parts of zeros divided by number of poles minus number of zeros. So, now how you will get this pole 0 information means from this open loop transfer function we can get the pole 0 information. From this diagram, from the given diagram, from given not diagram from given transfer function open loop transfer function. So, here is there any zeros means so, where you need to see about zeros in the open loop transfer function, you need to observe the numerator to calculate the number of zeros or zero values. If you observe your numerator, there is no zeros there, only a factor multiplication factor uh, system parameter is there. So, here I am not having any zeros, the number of zeros is equivalent to zeros. So, now coming to poles, how many poles are there? So, how many S terms are there in the denominator that many poles will be there? So, here I am having 3 poles, that 3 poles are pole 0, S, S term will give you pole 0, S plus 1 term give you minus 1 pole and S plus 3 term give you minus 3 pole. By equating each term equivalent to 0, you are going to get this values. For example, the pole from this term is calculated by equating s plus 3 is equal to 0, then s is equal to minus 3. So, number of zeros are nil, that means 0. So, uh, without confusion, I am going to write like this, nil. Number of zeros, nil. Nil means you need to substitute 0. So, number of poles will be 3, that 3 poles will be like this. So, now I am going to substitute in this formula real parts of poles. We need to add real parts of poles. So, in this pole values, we are having all real poles only. For example, if you are having imaginary poles like this, minus 1 minus j comma minus 2 plus j like this, if you are having imaginary poles, that means complex poles, you need to add real parts of this poles. This is the meaning of summation of real parts of poles, but in our given problem, we are having all real poles only. So, that is why, so I am adding 0 plus minus 1, that means 0 minus 1 minus 3 minus sum of real parts of zeros. In this problem, we are not having even 1 0. So, that is why. I am going to consider 0 divided by number of poles. Number of poles is 3. Number of zeros, we are not having any zeros. So, now if you calculate minus 1 minus 3, that is minus 4 divided by 3. So, this is equal to 
three three. So minus one point three 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 three. So that will continue. They given they truncated the value up to two positions after point. So this will be the right option for the centroid for the given open loop transfer function. When any open loop transfer function is given. So to calculate centroid, first you need to observe the numerator and denominator to get poles and zeros information. That means by observing, by equating the uh, numerator terms to zero, you are going to get the number of zeros and zero values. By equating the denominator terms as terms to zero, you are going to get the number of poles and pole values. After getting that poles and zeros information, you need to substitute in this formula for centroid. So, centroid is equal to summation of real parts of poles minus summation of real parts of zeros divided by number of poles minus number of zeros. For this problem, by calculating like this, we got the centroid for that open loop transfer function as minus 1.3333. For example, if any control system with this open loop transfer function is there, if you draw root locus di diagram, so the number of asymptotes will be n minus m. That means number of zeros minus number of poles. So por poles minus zeros. Poles are three, zeros are ze zero. That means three minus zero will be number of asymptotes. So three asymptotes will be there. That three asymptotes are going to meet on the real axis. At this point, so this is the intersection points of point of all asymptotes we are having for this open loop transfer function at minus 1.33. So whatever the asymptotes, three asymptotes are there, that asymptotes are going to interact on the real axis for this problem.